Hey everyone, this is Marcus with the Best Buy blog. Today I will be reviewing this, the Samsung Odyssey Arc. This is a 55 inch 4K resolution gaming monitor. I'll be talking about its connectivity options, ergonomics, its panel, performance, software features, and of course, sharing my final thoughts. Okay, let's kick things off first by talking about the Samsung Odyssey's Arc connectivity options. Almost all of the connectivity on the Arc is done through a separate connection hub called the One Connect. That's this little guy here. The One Connect has four HDMI ports, one optical out port, two USB-A ports, as well as one Ethernet jack port. On the monitor itself, there is a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, as well as a USB-C port. Now, if you decided that you didn't want to use an Ethernet cable, the Arc is also Wi-Fi enabled. On to the ergonomics. The Samsung Odyssey Arc is a big monitor here. At 55 inches, I'm surprised at just how easy it is to make adjustments to this monitor. For me, making adjustments on this monitor doesn't actually require any more effort than making the same adjustment on a smaller monitor. The monitor arm is capable of tilting up and down as well as tilting left and right. You can also adjust the monitor height and rotate this monitor 90 degrees into portrait mode. The only adjustment that I would have liked to see is the ability to swivel the monitor both left and right. When it comes to the panel of the Samsung Odyssey Arc, this is a VA panel with a 1000R curve. This panel has a 4K resolution and is HDR10 compatible. Samsung also used their Quantum Mini LED technology in the Arc's panel, meaning that this panel is able to become incredibly bright at 2000 nits, all while maintaining its colors and making sure that the colors don't get washed out. Before we get into gaming and media performance, there are two things that I'd like to talk about. The first one here are the remotes in front of me. The primary way that you control the Samsung Odyssey Arc is using these two remotes. Both remotes control basic functionality such as volume, screen settings, and power. Where they differ is in their dedicated functionality. The regular remote that you see right here is used to control smart TV functionality, while the other remote here, known as the Arc Dial, is more aimed at use towards playing games as well as working. The Arc Dial allows you to adjust your screen size, control gaming functionality, as well as your multi-windows. If you look closely, both remotes also have solar panels so that they always remain charged. The second thing I wanted to talk about here on the Odyssey Arc are its speakers. Now the Arc comes with built-in speakers that sound incredible. There's a total of six speakers and there's one located on each corner of the screen. There are also two subwoofers located in the middle here. These speakers support surround sound and are compatible with Dolby Atmos. The bass on the Arc is actually strong enough that I can feel the vibrations in my desk as well as on my floor. Okay, so how does the Samsung Odyssey Arc perform when it comes to gaming and media? Well, watching movies and playing games on the Arc here is nothing short of amazing. The Arc's strong 1000R curve feels like the monitor reaches right around you and takes up your entire field of view. While you're playing games or watching movies, it feels like you're right there. When you add in the surround sound from each corner of the screen, the entire package gives a whole new level of immersion when you're consuming content. The Arc is also compatible with FreeSync Premium Pro. This means that the Arc is able to match the frames per second that are produced from your GPU. Combine this with the one millisecond response time, the Arc creates a fast and smooth gaming experience. During my testing, I played Titanfall 2 and had a blast. If you've ever played this game here, there's parts of the game where you're actually controlling a robot. Playing on the Arc here, I really felt like I was sitting in the cockpit of a giant robot. When you add in the surround sound and the booming bass, it brought a whole new level of realism. This is definitely something everyone should try. Adding another level of immersion to the Arc here is the Eclipse LEDs on the back of the monitor. These LEDs can be set to different RGB behaviors, or you can sync the LEDs to change color based on what's happening on the screen. Overall, the Arc brings a lot of welcome features designed to enhance your gaming and media experience. Let's move on to the Samsung Odyssey Arc software. Samsung packed the Odyssey Arc full of software features, making this an amazing all-round monitor. On a high level, the features can be broken down into productivity as well as entertainment. When it comes to productivity, the Arc's 4K resolution alone makes this a fantastic productivity tool. This is amplified with Samsung's included software, which allows you to split the screen into multiple virtual monitors. 
This means that the monitor can display multiple windows based on wireless or HDMI sources. In practice, this means that you can have separate computers, phones, tablets, all displaying on the ARC screen at the same time. In terms of entertainment software, being the size of a TV, it's not surprising here that Samsung included some software that you'd find in a smart TV. There's your typical apps such as Netflix, Disney Plus, and YouTube. There are other features also included such as ambient mode. In the ambient mode, you can purchase NFTs or other art that turns your ARC into a dynamic picture frame. The ARC also has a central gaming hub. And here you can access streaming games through Google Stadia, Utomic, as well as Xbox. Okay, time for my final thoughts here. The Samsung Odyssey Arc is a gaming monitor that's in a league of its own. It's 1000R curve, 55 inch size, fast refresh rate, surround sound speakers, and feature packed software make this a fantastic all-in-one device. If you're in the market for a new gaming monitor and have the space for this 55 inch monitor, I highly encourage you to check out the Samsung Odyssey Arc. Well, that's all for today, everyone. If you'd like to know more about the Samsung Odyssey Arc, you can check out my full review on the Best Buy blog. If you'd like to know what else I'm up to, you can check out my Twitter and my Instagram at PewX31 or on YouTube and Facebook at PewX3. Thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.